Avenue. They identified uh, a female in a, in a white shirt. That's the one we have down uh, in the center uh, court area with the gunshot wound in the chest. Killing new police radio communications tonight from the YouTube shooting and the very first video tonight of the shooter. She is from Southern California, and KCAL 9 has learned she had a grudge against the social media site. KCAL 9 is learning a lot tonight about the YouTube shooter. She is from Southern California, and she was very upset with YouTube. We have team coverage for you, beginning with KCAL 9's Tom Waite, live in San Bruno for us. Tom? And Juan and Elsa, as you said, some very bizarre video clips that we have uncovered from her website and her Facebook page. A lot of questions as we stand outside of YouTube's headquarters here. First of all, how did she get in here? We don't know that yet. And we do know that we think she had a target in mind as she entered the building. But tonight, so many questions about motive. <laughs> These are videos Nassim Agdam posted of herself on her website and her Facebook page. A collection of clips featuring her dancing, exercising, and posing with fake animals. On her website, she rails against world governments for threatening free speech and says dictatorships around the world are threatening people's safety. She also slams YouTube for not allowing for what she calls equal growth opportunity. I'm being discriminated and filtered on YouTube, and I'm not the only one. So recently, they also attacked my Persian channel. All buildings associated with YouTube. CBS News has learned it was Ogdom who opened fire at YouTube headquarters, shooting three people and injuring another who got hurt trying to escape. It was a horrifying scene with reports of an active shooter. YouTube employees came running out of buildings on this sprawling tech campus with their hands in the air and on their heads. This eyewitness saw the scene from across the street. Then I seen the girl running, running out, and then she was shot in the leg. Then, she, we, then the other people that were behind me, they opened the doors, let her in. She was in the dining room with a couple people that were taking care of her. And then I, uh, I tried to get something to, to uh, stop the blood flow. Agdam reportedly had a target in mind. Police and federal agents quickly began surrounding the building. San Bruno Police Chief Ed Barberini. We did locate a victim with a, with a uh, what we believe to be a self-inflicted gunshot wound. It's a female, uh, but the investigation is still ongoing. And that victim is apparently the shooter, but that investigation, as you heard from the police chief, still very much ongoing. This is an active crime scene here. Most of this area is still shut down. Lots of investigators still here on the scene trying to piece this all together. We'll, of course, have an update on CBS 2 News at 11. Reporting live in San Bruno, I'm Tom Waite. Back to you in the studio.